What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you the differences between carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So CO is carbon monoxide and CO2 is carbon dioxide. The names are pretty much similar but both of them are colorless and odorless gases and at high concentration both of them are extremely toxic and deadly carbon dioxide is a common naturally occurring gas required for all plant and animal life but on the other hand carbon monoxide is not common and it is most often a byproduct of oxygen deficit combustion of fuel so whenever we are, we are dealing with burning or combusting fuel such as coal uh, natural gas and oil we're gonna produce carbon dioxide and if we don't have enough oxygen we're gonna produce carbon monoxide as well so whenever we don't have sufficient oxygen we produce carbon monoxide as well in the combustion carbon monoxide is also produced at dangerous levels by internal combustion engines that do not use a catalytic converter and it is most common type of fatal poisoning in the world so what are the carbon monoxide recommended levels 0.1 ppm is the current average carbon monoxide level on the planet and concentration as low as 700 ppm can be life-threatening. On the other hand, carbon dioxide is a common gas in the atmosphere and is required for plant life. And carbon dioxide is also a natural byproduct of human and animal respiration, fermentation, chemical reaction and combustion of fossil fuel and wood. Carbon dioxide is not flammable and it is generated by internal combustion engines that use catalytic converter and carbon dioxide is also poisoning to certain degree it is not much but carbon monoxide on the other hand it is quite toxic in our atmosphere we have around 400 ppm average level of carbon dioxide and if it goes up to 80,000 ppm, it's going to be life-threatening for us. But as you know, carbon dioxide is greenhouse gas. And when we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, we're going to have a warmer planet because it traps heat inside the atmosphere. So what are the similarities between carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide? Carbon and oxygen combine together to form both gases. Both of them are colorless, tasteless, and odorless, and both are in the air worldwide. And both of them are the product of combustion of fire. But in case if we have sufficient oxygen, we're going to produce only carbon dioxide and we don't produce carbon monoxide. 